finalists in the Safety and Excellence category. Best Practice at Case Conferences Safeguarding children and young people is a fundamental role of social workers in family and child care. This training initiative, unique to the Trust, involves training social work staff alongside medical and health professionals, allied health professionals and staff from the voluntary sector. The aim of the training is to improve safeguarding children and young people with an emphasis on genuine service user involvement. The Child Protection Case Conference is a key component in ensuring the adequate protection of children most at risk and in need of safeguarding. Mindful of the learning from case management reviews, these workshops inform colleagues of their shared responsibility in safeguarding throughout the complex case conference process. Case conferences are now more structured and effectively managed and are consequently more cost effective. These innovative workshops have led to a more standardised professional approach, promoting better involvement of families and developing excellence in our safeguarding practice, promoting the safety of children and young people. Please call, don't fall. Falls are amongst the most frequent adverse incidents reported within all health and social care trusts in Northern Ireland. This statement certainly was true of the Cancer Centre from early in 2016 with the incidences of almost 15 to 16 falls per month. Please Call, Don't Fall is a multidisciplinary team initiative introduced within the centre in direct response to the incidences of falls. The initiative saw the introduction of a three-pronged approach to help reduce falls with the introduction of a multidisciplinary team falls focus group comprising of nursing staff, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, pharmacist, medical staff and podiatrist. We also introduced staff training including mandatory falls training, a staff newsletter and staff information board. Finally, we enhanced patient information and education, including a patient falls leaflet and falls notice board, seeking feedback from our service users. To date, we have seen a reduction of falls in the Cancer Centre by 70%. Reaching out. How far, how well. The Critical Care Outreach Service has reached out to nursing and medical staff for feedback about the service they provide. This service was established in the Royal Victoria Hospital in 2007 with the aim of improving the culture of safety by reducing harm to patients through early identification of ward-based deteriorating patients in order to prevent admission to critical care or to enable timely admission to critical care. Follow-up on all patients discharged from critical care with a tracheostomy tube in situ sharing knowledge and skills with ward staff through formal and informal education. The team carried out a survey and distributed 540 questionnaires to 25 wards. 209 questionnaires were completed by nursing and medical staff, giving a response rate of 39%. The survey showed that 100% of those completing the survey were satisfied with the critical care outreach service, with over 80% rating their satisfaction as excellent. The team was recognised for their professional competence, support and behaviour with comments such as They educate staff whilst showing care. They are a brilliant service. It's good to have their knowledge and expertise to assist with complex patients. The team has been energised by such positive feedback which has stimulated ideas for further improvements in the management of the acutely unwell patient. Taking the pressure off Within Level 2 Belfast City Hospital, we care for patients before and after complex bowel or esophageal gastric surgery. Our patients can be malnourished due to their disease, infections and sepsis with the added problems of post-operative immobility. These combined factors put our patients at risk of developing pressure ulcers. We introduced a twice daily safety briefing wherein at risk patients are identified and we moved our nursing handover from the office to the bedside. This proved to be the pivotal point when the focus of care became truly person centred. 
It also allowed nurses and healthcare assistants to review the bedside charts and ensure compliance with skin bundles and risk assessments and action risks immediately. We introduced a multidisciplinary team approach of Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, or ERAS, with emphasis on early ambulation and nutrition. We embedded a culture of learning and development and developed bespoke study days. We placed specific emphasis on the healthcare support workers' development and provided training to improve their knowledge and skills required to effectively assess patients' skin condition. Our healthcare assistants are now empowered to make referrals to the MDT, order pressure relieving equipment and highlight risks to the registered nurses. Following the introduction of the ERAS and associated changes, we achieved zero pressure ulcers for the year 2014-2015.